Hi, I'm Marina. Welcome to my channel, Yearning and Darning. I placed an order from Rose Likes Crochet for some stitch markers. So, here are the gemstones. And they're all turned around with, like they shouldn't be. There you go. Beautiful gemstones. And the piggies. And I just love the piggies. Then <clears throat> I want to give away by Creations by Christy. And I got, I love this yarn. We don't have a Hobby Lobby in our area, so this is going to be a treat. This will be the first time I've worked with I Love This Yarn. So there's this skein. It's a medium four. There's 252 yards. It's a five ounce skein. So there's that, and the color is Painted Canyon. And then I got these Yarn Bee Sweet Minis. This is in mint and strawberries. Okay, now I'm going to insert a picture of my whips. This is my whip and it's a pocket shawl. I'm working on a tutorial for this and it should be available soon. This is my finished object, and I call it the hag bag because I used Ryan the Yarn Hag's new stitch, the hag stitch. Let's go see what Gulliver's up to. Hello. Um, I'm at my outdoor workstation here, uh, which is also the top of our compost bin. You'll notice how the sawdust falls down below. And of course, I planned it that way. Anyway, I digress. Now, this is my current project. And what it's intended as is um, basically a stand for canes. Hopefully to accommodate more, because I like making canes. And it's also kind of an offering to irony because now that I no longer need a cane, hopefully I will never again need a cane. So at any rate, that's the idea. I tried to kind of have it big enough to where you can have a number of cane points at the bottom and still kind of have this sprawled effect. In fact, the I've, I've tried to make the stand have kind of a floral effect uh, that's why I have these ridges and bumps. I call that the wavy gravy. And you simply apply that with the rasp. And not that, the rasp. And then smooth it with pieces of old uh, sanding belt. I, I try not to waste anything. Uh, poverty is the mother of invention, right? So at any rate, let's take these out of here. Where did you get your cane, Gulliver? Oh, okay. Um, this one came off of a tree over there that I had to knock some branches down because they were encroaching on the power line. <clears throat> this one also came off of this property, but I have forgotten which tree, so I can't give you an answer. And this one has more history because I used to live on Prince Edward Island, and this is um, a true tamarack. I, I had to knock some down back there on some property I owned. Now, in Montana, it's kind of a conversation piece because we have these trees up in the mountain that everyone calls tamarack, and in fact, they're not. They're larch. A larch, um, a tamarack, I mean, is a swamp. Uh, 
tree grows in the water or on the edge of water. What they have in common with larch is they lose their needles in the fall. They're only two coniferous trees that do. Anyway, okay, so this is now kind of at the phase. I've done the wavy gravy and the sanding. And just to bring out the features of the wood and all that before I, and to give it some color and character, before I put polyurethane on it, I'm just going to, I'm just putting some oil. Now this is boiled linseed oil I had on hand and I'm trying to use it up. That's kind of the motivation here behind the whole thing. I thought I was going to build this actually for free. I had nails on hand. I, all this is scrap wood, including the plywood. And I thought I was going to actually for once get it done without any cost, just using stuff on hand and then I had to buy some glue so I think I'm about two dollars and fifty some cents into it which still annoys me at any rate you put this on and I'm gonna to have to later tip it back and fill these wormholes otherwise they're going to be the wrong light light color um, the nice thing about building your own stuff is that you put your own character into it you put very little money into it um, as a result of me building stuff out of scrap, we have furniture that is one third Walmart price that you couldn't find anywhere else. And it rivals some of the expensive stuff. Um, this is just kind of a, another example. Um, I think that's about it. Okay, thank okay. you. Well, thank you, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us at Yarnin' and Darnin'.